Hello everybody, it's me again. Today I would like to do an unboxing of a game that I got in the post yesterday. Dawn of the Zeds by Victory Point Games. Um, and um, the cats have already started to unbox it because they've already discovered the dice. Yes, the game, game comes with two six-sided dice. It comes with cards. These are probably survivor cards, you know. Doc Siever, Deputy Schmidt. Professor Aggie, PhD, and Pickles, he seems to be um, the watchdog. Fake cards. A huge deck of event cards. And the card stock is absolutely, oh, there's another survivor in here. Two more. Um, lovely card stock. Um, I really find it very important that the cards that you get with a card-driven game are of the highest quality because you're going to be using them. And I don't like sleeving them because then, you know, I just can't seem to be able to um, shuffle sleeved cards. So I really want the card stock to be really, really good. So as you have noticed already, um, I've gone uh, zombie. Um, so I bought Dawn of the Zeds. Um, I've also bought Zombie Side Prison Outbreak yesterday so it should be with me maybe next week or the week after i have also bought um oh no sorry i'm playing um another zombie game tonight called dead of winter which is a brilliant game um uh, it's by plaid hat games and if you would like to know what the game is about um go and watch a couple of playthroughs there's an excellent playthrough and um rules instruction game um, video on Watch It Played by Rodney Smith. Um, in case you have not um, yet subscribed to this channel, as I haven't. I mean, I only came across his channel two weeks ago, last week actually. I'm very surprised that it took me so long because I usually keep up with game channels, but his escaped me entirely and his channel is really good. So like I said, you have two dice. You have uh, player A sheets and quick play setup cards. Again, very good card stock. Um, double sided and really nice printing jobs as well. Very easy to read. I like the detail here, you know, like it looks like a post-it and somebody just highlighted stuff. Um, you know, here nice touch. It looks like they cello taped this. Um, Player mat side A and B. This looks like... Oh, I like this. It starts off with, first, don't crap your pants. This game's a hell of a lot easier to play than it looks. You got, damn, you got a damn pair of cheat sheets to park next to the game board for, for hell's sake. Okay, just flip them to their B side and you'll be running the show in no time. So basically this is apparently a playthrough um, that you can use to teach yourself the game. Um, and here we have the rule book. Uh, beautiful layout, three um, columns, uh, multicolored. Again, I love it. Um, shiny. Um, And the map or maps should I say because it says out here that there is a bonus map that has been designed by Tim Allen somebody told me forget about the normal map just go for the Tim Allen map so I don't know what the Tim which the Tim Allen map is because there are more than there are two maps I, I don't think it says Tim Allen anywhere but you have the normal thick cardstock puzzle type map and the fact that the camera is shaking is because the cat has thrown the die under the sofa and is trying to retrieve it and here you have the maps printed off two-sided map and a smaller map as well so, but it looks to me that, you know, the, the maps are entirely different, so it's really going to be a different gameplay. Um, 
Now this one looks quite familiar to people who have played State of Siege games, uh, State of Siege games, because in the State of Siege games that I've shown you so far, Israeli independence, um, Azulas on the ramparts, and uh, Ot Ottoman sunrise, sunset, I keep getting this wrong, Ottoman sunset, um, the idea is that you have a central space, which is the winning space. If the enemies ever approach or get into that space, you lose the game immediately. And you have different tracks around which the enemies approach. So in the Zulus on the ramparts, you have four different Zulu armies that um, move towards you. Here, I think it's four. In Israeli independence, I think you have five Arab factions that move towards um, West Jerusalem. And in... Um, and in uh, the Ottoman sunset, um, the central space is Istanbul, and um, you have different uh, armies moving towards it. I think there's Mesopotamia, Gallipoli, um, Salonika, um, Mesopotamia, the Caucasus, and I forget there may be another one. So basically, you have all of these, and yes, there is the there is the uh, the Narrows um, Dardanelles approach with the with the British uh, Navy. So basically, again, you have all of these different tracks that convene in one space, and I believe that this is what I believe. I haven't read the rules. But when you put these together like so. You can see that there is a space called zero. So, you know, you can't see that actually. Let's see if I can get closer. Uh. Yeah. So you can see here, here's the zero spot in the middle. And you can see tracks leading towards it. This is one track down here. So I assume that the Zeds, the zombies, will move along this track. And if they hit this zero spot, you lose the game. So <clears throat> this is the game components. I'm really looking forward to playing this. Um, like I said, I'm playing another zombie game tonight called Dead of Winter, which is a cooperative game um, it's also zombie themed, but you play the um, a group of survivors that is trying to um, to hold out against the zombie apocalypse on the one hand, but also there is a traitor element to it. It is um, a little bit like Battlestar Galactica, in fact, where you have crises that need to be resolved and everybody needs to contribute cards to resolve the crisis card, um, and where you also um, have a traitor. Um, and it's supposed to be good fun. I mean, I read it and it seems to be awesome by all accounts. And so I'm going to not do um, a components review because I don't own the game, so I can't show you the components, but I am going to take a couple of pictures um, and I'm going to do a review um, video of it. So until then, keep gaming.